Hello, and welcome to the College of Education and Human Ecology's online first-time academic probation workshop. The reason you are enrolled in this workshop is because you have been placed on academic probation for the next semester. This workshop is comprised of four assignments, two videos to aid you in completing the assignments, and several posted resources. You can find all of these resources on Carmen. The advisors in the College of Education and Human Ecology, or EHE, have designed this workshop to aid you in your academic success. It is our hope that this workshop will aid you in reflecting on your time so far at The Ohio State University and how you can learn to become an academically successful Buckeye. At this time, please have your academic probation worksheet in front of you. At the end of this video, you will be able to use the worksheet to help you complete the academic probation quiz. As stated, it is our hope that this workshop will help you become academically successful, thusly meeting the conditions of your probation. The first step is understanding probation. You may be asking yourself, why was I placed on probation? What is probation anyway? How do I get off of probation? We, the EHE advisors, want to help you understand the answers to these questions and help you make plans for your future to ensure you are successful at OSU. First, in this video, we will start with the basics. We will cover the definition of academic probation as defined in your student handbook, the conditions of academic probation. This is a list of requirements that you must fulfill to return to good academic standing within the university. Why you have been placed on probation this term. The required cumulative GPA for your intended major. The majors in the College of Education and Human Ecology have specific admissions requirements. Some simply require a 2.0 cumulative GPA and a certain number of credits at OSU, and some are more competitive. During this video, you will learn what you must do to be accepted into the major of your choice. You will learn the difference between a term, or sometimes referred to as a semester GPA, and cumulative GPA. After this video, you will know where to find a grade point average calculator. And finally, you will know how to calculate your term and cumulative GPA. So let's begin. Simply put, academic probation is described as any student whose cumulative point hour ratio has fallen below a 2.0. The probation shall continue provided the student's college considers the student's progress to be satisfactory and shall be removed when the cumulative point hour ratio has reached a 2.0. The reason you have been placed on probation is not only because you have fallen under the necessary 2.0 GPA to be in good standing with the university. It also aids us as advisors to provide further resources to this select group of students to help ensure you have the means to become successful. We can help you determine your strengths as a student, change harmful patterns in study skills or time management, and refer you to resources on campus to improve your academic performance. It is our goal to help you navigate this large university and assist you with your short and long-term goal planning. Ultimately, you will need at least a 2.0 GPA for any major at The Ohio State University. Your academic advisor can help you take the first steps in reaching this goal. All students receive a probation letter via email that outlines their status of probation and the conditions of academic probation that you must meet to be removed from probation. You can find a copy of this email in your Advise and Connect notes for you to review. It is extremely important to understand these conditions because failure to meet them could result in dismissal from OSU. Advisors are available to help you plan to meet the conditions of your probation. The first condition of probation deals with term and semester GPA and credit hours. Students on academic probation must maintain full-time status, which is between 12 and 18 semester hours. 18 credit hours is the maximum amount of hours for which a student can register. It is typically not recommended that students register for more than 15 hours in order to ensure enough time to effectively study and prepare for courses. It is our hope that you make time each semester to speak with your advisor and plan for each upcoming semester to best meet your individual scheduling needs. In addition to maintaining full-time student status, you are required to achieve a 2.3 semester GPA or a 2.0 cumulative GPA the semester you are on probation. This is to ensure that you are making progress to raise your GPA. We will go over the difference between semester GPA and cumulative GPA in a moment. Secondly, you must arrange for no incomplete marks this semester. An I or incomplete grade indicates that a student has completed a major portion of the work in the course in a satisfactory manner, but for reasons judged by the instructor to be legitimate, a portion of the course requirements remains to be completed. If the work is not made up by the sixth week of the following semester, the I mark will be changed to the alternate grade the instructor reported. Thirdly, understanding add and drop deadlines is an important part of academic planning and ensuring academic success. If you feel that you have taken on too much during a semester, it is imperative that you drop a course by the designated drop date, the 10th Friday of the semester. All important dates can be found on Buckeye Link or on the Registrar's website. We urge you to meet with an advisor prior to deciding to drop a course to make sure you are abiding by your conditions and making adequate progress towards your goals. Also, make sure you are not falling below the 12 credit hours needed for full-time status. Lastly, you must complete this workshop, which you are doing now. 
So keep up the good work, and soon you'll be on your way to academic success at The Ohio State University. All actions have consequences. Next, we want to go over what happens at the end of the semester. After all grades are tallied at the conclusion of this semester, you will have either met your conditions of probation or not. If you have met the conditions and successfully raised your cumulative GPA to a 2.0 or above, you will be removed from academic probation. At this point, we urge you to begin developing plans with your advisor to keep up the good work in semesters to come. If you have met the condition of receiving a 2.3 semester GPA, but this did not raise your cumulative GPA over 2.0 to put you in good standing with the university, you will remain on academic probation for the next semester. Although you will not be required to retake this workshop, it is imperative that you meet with your advisor to plan on further progression. The other possibility is not meeting the conditions of probation. At this point, you are eligible for dismissal from The Ohio State University. If this happens, the College of Education and Human Ecology will closely review your situation to determine steps you have taken or not taken to better your standing. If EHE considers a student's progress as unsatisfactory in meeting the academic probation conditions placed on his or her probation, the college shall be empowered to dismiss the student from the university. In order for a student to be considered for reinstatement, the student must be dismissed from the university for a minimum of two semesters. Any student may be reinstated by a college or school following academic dismissal and shall be subject to special requirements as may be determined appropriate by EHE. As you can see, GPA is a very important factor in your academic success. By now you may be wondering where you can find your GPA. You will do this by generating your advising report. Your advising report is an unofficial transcript. It catalogs all of your credits from any previous institutions, your earned credits at OSU, and lists your term and cumulative GPAs. It is a very helpful document that can give you a one-page view of your academic history. To generate your advising report, you will need to log into your student center. You can reach your student center by going to the OSU website, clicking on Buckeye Link at the top right-hand corner of the website, and then clicking on the large yellow button icon that says Log In. Once you have signed into your account, click on the link that says Generate Advising Report. Click the OK button to generate your advising report. Here is a sample of an advising report. As you can see, the first column is a summary of all academic history. This summary is where you will find the number of semester hours you have earned so far in your cumulative GPA. The remaining columns show a semester by semester breakdown and term GPAs for each. So what is the difference between a semester GPA and a cumulative GPA? A term GPA is your total grade points accumulated from one semester's worth of courses while a cumulative GPA is the combination of all of your semesters at OSU. You can view each semester's GPA and your current cumulative GPA on your advising report. While it is important for you to raise your GPA to a 2.0 to be in good standing at the university and meet your probation conditions, it is also important for you to know the GPA you must achieve to be admitted into your desired major. Many majors in the College of Education and Human Ecology require different cumulative GPAs for admission. Here you can see an overview of the admissions requirements for the Human Sciences majors. Consumer and Family Financial Services, Fashion and Retail, and Hospitality Management require a 2.0 cumulative GPA, as well as a 15 OSU semester hour for admission to major. Sport Industry requires 12 OSU credit hours and a 2.5 cumulative GPA. Nutrition and Industry, Nutrition Sciences, and Dietetics require 15 OSU hours and a 2.5 GPA. Exercise Sciences require 30.5 credit hours at OSU and a 3.0 to apply to the major and Health Promotion, Nutrition, and Exercise Science requires a 2.75 GPA and 15 OSU hours. Each major with an asterisk also requires further admission requirements, so make sure to plan for these with your advisor. As for the education cluster, all majors except for Early and Middle Childhood Studies, Physical Activity Specialists, Career and Technical Education, and Human Development and Family Sciences require a 2.75 cumulative GPA. Each of these majors requires further admissions criteria to apply and or be accepted into the major. While it is important to know what GPA you need to be accepted or apply to the major, right now we want you to focus on the short-term goal of raising your GPA to be in good standing with the university. GPAs needed for a major, other admissions criterion, and applications will be part of your long-term planning process that you will continually work on with your academic advisor. So how is GPA calculated? This chart shows you how grades convert to GPA and the formula used to calculate GPA. A helpful tool that you should keep in mind is a GPA calculator. You can find a GPA calculator at this website on the College of Education and Human Ecology site. To use the GPA calculator, you will need to refer to your advising report. You will enter your total earned hours at OSU, your current GPA, and your desired GPA. 
This student has earned 146.78 hours. They have a 3.293 GPA. And they want to raise their GPA to a 3.5. After entering the numbers, you will click Submit. The calculator will then generate a pop-up box that tells you how many credit hours you will need to complete at a certain GPA to effectively raise your cumulative GPA to your desired goal. This student would need to complete 61 credit hours and achieve a 4.0 GPA, 76 credits with a 3.9 GPA, or 102 credits with a 3.8 GPA to achieve their desired goal of a 3.5 cumulative GPA. Another helpful tool is a semester GPA calculator. On the same website, you can enter your current schedule and the grades you hope to receive to predict your semester GPA. It is a great resource to help you plan your semester. Congratulations! You are at the end of video one. By this time, you should know the following. The definition of academic probation, the conditions of academic probation, why you have been placed on academic probation, the cumulative GPA necessary for your intended major, the difference between term and cumulative GPA, where to find a GPA calculator for short and long-term planning, and finally, how to calculate your term and cumulative GPA. You should now have your worksheet filled out. Use it to complete Quiz 1 on Carmen Now. This is how you will get your points for this exercise and move on to the next section of the workshop. The next section will require a bit of reflection and research on your part, so be sure to give yourself enough time to complete it. Thank you for taking the time to complete Video 1. You are now one step closer to academic success at The Ohio State University.